Following the recent damages to the Guguletu fire station, our city news visited the station to speak to Cape Town fire spokesperson Theo Lane to get his views on the latest repairs and also to find out if the station is fully functional. The fire station sustained a significant damage and uh, the uh, contractors on uh, the premises since the incident occurred and uh, they're currently still uh, completing that work. The bay doors, all three of them had to be replaced uh, as well as uh, new fencing is being put up in front of the fire station uh, that is to prevent uh, a reoccurrence of that. Uh, then uh, a lot of the cosmetic uh, painting and things like that had to be done and they're still uh, getting that done at the moment. So firefighters are um, back at the fire station now for a week and a half already and they were based at the Mitchell's Plain fire station uh, whilst the repairs were being carried out. Now what you must remember is that um, the people that actually uh, damaged the fire station are not people that grew up and lived in the uh, Kugeletu area. These were in one of the uh, informal settlements that recently had uh, uh, come into the area. So uh, this, was, uh, this was as a result of um, people that had come into the area, they're not from Guguletu, and um, they had uh, aired their disagreement uh, with matters that are not concerning the firefighters as such, but it, the fire station became a very soft target and uh, they then uh, attacked the fire station. Um, the firefighters have an obligation to the community as a whole and uh, we don't believe in uh, because of the actions of a few that uh, we will not respond to incidents. So we had the staff based at Mitchell's Plain but still responding uh, two fires in the area. We have um, Metro Police, uh, law enforcement, the South African Police Services uh, that will be called on to uh, escort the firefighters to incidents, then also remain at the incidents with the firefighters uh, to ensure that um, they are safe. Uh, this, uh, whilst it has been uh, a practice for a while, um, we have just intensified the amount of uh, uh, law enforcement officials that assist firefighters at incidents. Uh, the fire station uh, is fully operational in the sense that they can respond to any type of incident. The staff are here 24-7, uh, but the repairs of the fire station is ongoing and uh, it is expected by uh, June, July that um, all work that is uh, supposed to be carried out uh, will be done by then. The cost of the repairs to get the fire station up to a point where it is, uh, ma uh, the firefighting crews can be at the fire station uh, was about 800,000 Rand and um, an evaluation will be done as far as uh, any further requirements that need to be carried out. The incident that took place at the Guguletu fire station has caused a lot of damage and has left many firemen traumatized. Cape Town Fire spokesperson Theo Lane condemns such behavior from individuals and he says that the repairs of the station will fully be completed in July. For our city news, I'm Byron Lucas, Guguletu.